Welcome to a new RKB Bearing Industries educational video where we deal with a comparison between two different types of cage the standard rivet type cage execution and the RKB reinforced AVH cage design in case of cylindrical roller bearing Bearing cage has three main purposes First of all, it keeps the rolling elements equally distributed around the raceways in order to perform a uniform running and an even load distribution and to avoid the direct contact of the rollers, thus maintaining friction and heat generation at minimum. Secondly, it guides the rolling elements in the unloaded zone so as to prevent the damaging sliding movements caused by vibrations. Finally, it reduces the friction at high speeds through the self-lubricating properties of its material. Because of the inertia forces, frictional contact and strain, cages are subjected to mechanical stress and chemical action of certain lubricants or additives. For this reason, the design and materials are the key elements to the performance of bearings. By evaluating the technical drawings, we can see the differences in the cage executions. The rivet type cage is composed of three elements, cage base, cage cover, which are made of brass, closed with rivets made of steel. The RKB AVH execution has only two components, cage base and cage cover, made of brass. In order to analyze the two different cage executions, we generated the related 3D models and applied the proper materials. In this way, it is possible to see the single components and the way they are assembled, the rivet type cage consisting of three separate components and the AVH execution composed of only two elements. By analyzing the total mass, there is no significant difference between the two executions. The rivet type cage weighs only 0.97 kilograms, while the AVH cage weighs uh, 0.95 kilograms. The evaluation consists of simulating the behavior of both models in the same conditions by using FEM, the analysis was conducted in a simulated vibrating environment that can affect the cage. In this way, we consider that the vibrating environment applies a force of 1 kN to each roller on the cage cover. The 3D models created are subjected to finite element analysis and transposed into a static structural analysis that can emphasize the force propagation, the total deformation and the equivalent stress appeared in the structure. After analyzing the models, it is possible to compare the total deformation in the cage structure. In the rivet type cage, the total deformation caused by the applied force has a maximum value of 0.17 mm. In particular, on the rivets, the total deformation shows a value of uh, 0.08 mm. By applying the force to the system, the cage cover will deform applying a bending moment to the rivets. To better understand the behavior of the structure, we magnify the deformation results. In the second case, the AVH structure presents a maximum deformation of uh, 0 0.035 mm. and of just uh, 0 0.040 mm in the closing elements. Again, to emphasize the behavior of the structure, the deformation results were magnified. By applying the force to the system, the cage cover will present a smaller deformation because the geometry of the components is different, applying a lower bending moment to the structure. In addition, the contact surface between the cage cover and the closing element is bigger and doesn't permit any higher deformation. By comparing the two cases, it is evident that in the same simulation conditions, the AVH execution deforms five times less than the rivet type cage execution does. Another important issue is connected to the equivalent stress evaluation in both types of cage. In the rivet type cage, due to the higher deformation in the rivets, the equivalent stress will present a maximum value of 760 megapascals. For the AVH execution, the maximum equivalent stress is of only 348 megapascals. Because of the different deformable area section and material, the rivets will present a stiffer behavior due to the mechanical properties of the steel they are made of, meaning that they will have higher internal stresses. Here, the stress propagation through the entire rivet body can be clearly seen. 
it will reach its maximum value on the interface between the cage cover and the cage base. In the AVH execution, the stress is reduced because the forces are transmitted directly to the cage base structure, where the section is bigger. Another element leading to lower levels of stress is that the AVH cage structure is made only of brass, which has elasticity properties better than those of steel and permits higher elongation. To conclude the equivalent stress evaluation, by comparing the two case results, it can be said that the AVH execution has a better behavior on the applied force. In fact, it shows a maximum stress of around 350 MPa, which is half of the rivet type cage stress value. RKB Bearing Industries manufactures the rivet type cage and the AVH execution for all types and sizes of cylindrical roller bearings. As you can see, the rivet type cage is made up of three components, cage base, cage cover, closed with the steel rivets. ADH execution is composed of only two elements, cage base and cage cover, closed by the extensions of the cage base. If a specific application requires lighter bearings, the cage can be enlightened to reduce the total mass of the bearing. We recommend using the ADH execution in applications subjected to severe conditions where the internal stresses generated by the applied force are propagated through the entire cage base structure, unlike what happens in the rivet type cage execution where the stress is concentrated in the rivets. To sum up, thanks to the specific geometry of its components, the RKB AVH cage is particularly recommended in case of heavy engineering applications, vibrations, shocks, heavy loads, tilting moments, and applications uh, requiring premium reliability. This type of bearing cage design is widely adopted in the mines and minerals industry, in the wind sector, in the power transmission field, and more.